Praise the Lord. Today's word of the day. Today's word of the day comes from the book of Haggai, chapter 2, verse 5. Haggai, chapter 2, verse 5. And it says, according to the word that I have covenanted with you when you came out of Egypt, so my spirit remains among you. Do not fear. Amen. Praise the Lord. According to the word that I covenanted with you when you came out of Egypt, so my spirit remains among you. Do not fear. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, you know, I just thought of another scripture I didn't have here on the screen, but uh, I know it goes something along the lines of, in my haste, I said that I was cut off. There are times when the enemy could tell us, uh, try to convince us that God has forsaken us, that he, we've sinned too much, we've fallen too short, he's lost his patience, and he no longer is. Um, we've been taken out of the vine, we've been... We failed him and so forth. A lot of condemnation. That's what the warfare is constantly after us. But we know that God sometimes makes his presence very powerfully manifested in our lives. And sometimes we feel like we're in a drought and we can't see or hear God, feel him or anything else. And Or, you know, maybe as a church, as we journey, there were times of signs and wonders. And then there's a time of not much of that. And all these things are God's good work. It's like in a washing machine. Sometimes the water is in there. And it, sometimes it's scrubbing. Sometimes it's rinsing. There's all kinds of things going on. But the bottom line is, when he took us out of Egypt, when he took us out of the world, he gave us his Holy Spirit. And his Holy Spirit remains among us, so there is nothing to fear. Amen. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Let's look at some other supporting scripture. Exodus chapter, okay, so he was talking about this covenant, the word that he covenanted with the God's people when they came out of Egypt. We came out of Egypt when he redeemed us uh, from the world, praise the Lord. Um, Exodus 34, 10, here's the covenant. And he said, behold, I make a covenant before all your people. I will do marvels such as has not been done in all the earth, nor in any nation. And all the people among you who are, uh, are shall all the people among, among whom you are shall see the work of the Lord, for it is an awesome thing that I will do with you. Amen. Praise the Lord. When he redeemed us, he didn't just redeem us, and that's it. He gave us his Holy Spirit, and just like the, the eunuch that took uh, Esther before she went to see the king, he had to give her beauty preparations before she was able to go see the king. Well, the Holy Spirit is giving us beauty preparations. The Holy Spirit is doing a work in us, an awesome thing that he's doing in us. And he's changing us day by day from the inside out. He's bringing us through the fire and then healing us. He's making us stronger. He's doing all these wonderful things. It is an awesome thing that everyone will see what wonderful work he's doing in every, each and every one of us through his Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Ephesians chapter 1, verses 13 and 14 says, In him you also trusted after you have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, having believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Praise the Lord. Who is the guarantee of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession to the praise of his glory. Amen. Praise the Lord. Once we, like the ones in Egypt, had the blood of the lamb uh, over the doorway of their house, we have the blood of the lamb of God over our house. We have the, the guarantee, the seal of the Holy Spirit, that uh, we are his forever until redemption time. Praise the Lord. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5b says, For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you amen he also said that no one can snatch us out of his hands praise the lord matthew 28 verse 19 and 20 jesus said there go therefore and make disciples for all the nations baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and the holy spirit teaching them to observe all things that i've commanded you and lo i am with you always even to the end of the age Amen. Praise the Lord. 
And so whether it's uh, telling the disciples, the apostles of those days doing that or whatever his, our ministry he's given us, whatever he's given us, to just do those things without rest and full assurance that he uh, has us, he's sealed us, and no one will ever take us away from him, including ourselves. And that is a wonderful blessing we can rest in. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the word that you come in with us and that your spirit remains among us. Help us not fear. Increase our faith, Lord, and help us truly rest in the fact that everything we're going through is a, a work of your Holy Spirit that you've given us, and it's all a blessing. And we and all those around us will see the finished work that you're doing, and we thank you for it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that is our word of the day. Praise the Lord.